Yeah, it was a nice night for him. It tied his career high with four hits. You notice, and we mentioned it earlier, he went to the double flapped helmet to protect that cheek. And this guy is, uh, I don't know, you, you said to pick him, maybe an emerging star, but we do know this. Since he returned, what, uh, 10, 12 days ago, he has been tremendous. How about Ricky Stowe, though, bringing that double flap helmet along? I, I mean, he's got it right here for Bronson Arroyo, bringing that old Bronson Arroyo helmet with him everywhere he goes. And Peraza made good use of it tonight. Just kidding about that. Number eight hitter in the lineup. When he gets four hits on a night, you're really going good. But what you really like about Peraza is the fact that the ball is coming off his bat better and better all the time. That was a blue pit right there. But not all of them were blues. That ball was a shot. So was a shot in right center field that ended up being a double. Uh, and for a guy that got hit in the cheek last night and had x-rays and all sorts of things and tripped to the dentist, a lot of guys wouldn't even be in the game today. But here he is getting it done. And finally getting a chance. The only question is, where is he going to play? Are you going to sit Zach Cozart? Are you going to sit Brandon Phillips? Are you going to stick him in the outfield somewhere? I don't know. I guess it's a good problem to have if you're the Reds. But, boy, this kid, you know, the only thing he hasn't done is walk. Uh, he does not have much in the way uh, of an eye at the plate as far as working a lot of walks. But I think that comes with experience. It comes with a little bit more time in the major leagues to learn the strike zone. Hey, maybe he ought to hang around with Joey Votto a little bit there as well, just like Billy Hamilton has.